Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I was watching your doing this right hand. Like, oh my god, that's yeah, amazing. It's a weird trick. <gasps> Hello. Stu Ham. This, hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. We're, we're worshiping Stu Ham today in the, in the room. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice one. Oh no. Welcome to all about the pace. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Sorry. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. Hi. Nice to see you. We're trying something different in this video today. Well, you will see. We have the lovely Galina Kruger Plex uh, pedal here, which is what a DI all-in-one tuner compression thing. We have done a video, full video, a few years back. So if you want full specs and everything, please go and check that out. Um, this will be a little bit of a run through because we're starting a new thing. Just basically, yeah. instead of having half an hour, what we normally do with a piece of gear in, in these videos, CC has brought this for a month. So since we were here last time, and we're gonna we're gonna try this going forward. Like what what's actually if you spend a bit more time than just say 10 minutes, half an hour in this room, what what do you actually think of the bit mm -hmm. of gear? So yeah, um, it's, it's cool because yes. I feel like I've been able to form a lot more of a rounded opinion on it instead of just going, yeah, sounds cool, straight out of the box and then putting it away and never Absolutely. trying one again. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> so. this, this is it. And, and I, I would, I'll say it again, I've said it before, but we were very privileged to be in this position to you know tr try all this gear and have it at our fingertips. but. Yeah, when it is literally just, right, make a decision now, right, do you like it? Okay, yeah, cool, right, and we are mm. strapped for time, so we have to move on. So this hopefully will give us a bit more of a, yeah, an in-depth yeah. in view on these things. So uh, how did you get on with the thing? I really enjoyed it, actually. Yeah. So the way I was running this, I was running it through my Ashdown setup, so I basically had everything as I would normally use it, Sweet. but just threw this in the mix. Cool, um, yeah. Because I was curious to know, does it, Galleon Kruger if I my ash down. Ah, I like that <laughs> and, word. <laughs> and uh, the answer is yes, it does, which I was pleasantly surprised by. I thought it would kind of change it slightly and give it a bit of that hint of it, but I yeah. didn't expect it to actually go, yeah, by the way, I've just like remodeled your amp completely <laughs> and uh, I'm here now. So. Yes, it's like, we're out the way, Galleon and Kruger here. <laughs> Yeah, but cool. no, I, I've really enjoyed it. Um, so main differences I found, obviously, between my amp and that, just yeah. for clarity's sake, is my amp's got quite a warm, rounded sound. Even though it does zingy, high-end stuff, yeah. it doesn't have the kind of glassy sound that Gallen Kruger have. Sweet. They've cool. got a really specific sound to me. You can kind of hear it. I would describe it as a click, but it's not in a negative way. It's... No, 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 I know exa <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly that sort of description. It's yeah. that kind of... You just... I don't know, it's just, it's very specific. Yeah, I don't and, want to um... say rasp because it's not distort, it's not like yeah, uh, that sort of thing. It's but just it's... glassy and Present. zingy Present. 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 Yes, yeah. absolutely, good shout, man. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So that was the main major difference I noticed is that it actually did add all of that in and it really oh, did shape the sound quite a lot so yeah. I was impressed with that and the other thing I tried was running it with my pedal board and seeing how does it work on a looper with all the effects going through it as well does it kind of get a bit buried in the mix or does it is it like is it a pedal where you can plug it in and go right this needs to be doing its thing don't touch it leave it alone or can you Mix it in with other stuff and it'll still just be like, yeah, I'm here nice. and I'm a Galleon Kruger now. So yeah. it's odd whatever I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, so I was really impressed with that. It took pedals really well and it also made any loops I did on the looper really clear, oh, which is really okay. nice to have. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, all in all, I was really impressed with the sound of it, to be honest. Um, I had a bit of a mess around because I found out on this, Obviously, with the little overdrive switch, Ooh, yeah. if you press these in, so if I turn this on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See the number? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So ah, you can cool. actually cycle through different distortions, etc. And all it. of these have different voicings as well. Oh, so it amazing. gets a bit mental and we won't go through all of them because there is an in-depth demo of this. But my experience with using it for a month is that I pretty much took to it straight away. It was really Sweet. easy to get used to and figure out. That's good to um, hear. Yeah, it didn't take me long to dial in a sound I liked. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm kind of curious to hear now using it just as a DI, so no amp involved, what do the distortions sound like? Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, totally. So Yeah, and I think at the moment we, have, we are doing 
exactly that. I mean, is it is it coming through the room? Are we going through the? No, we're not. We're going through the speakers. Yeah. So yeah, we are actually in the room at the moment. We're just just de it. Mm -hmm. um, cool. we, we are running it through um, an effects loop, so you're not getting any tone of of the, this other amp, but it's actually de-eyed out of the pedal, as you can see. Um, and then we do have something just lined up, just as a bit of a, an alternative that you might want to use it for as well in a bit. So mm -hmm. if you get stuck. Um, at a gig, you might be able to use this as a backup amplifier <laughs> as well, you know, so... Awesome. So, I don't know what this is going to sound like. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> just go for it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Pretty cool. Oh, I like that. There's like, yeah. a, like a low mid thing with that. That was... Uh, that was cool. Would you, I've seen that now, just mm. thinking about it, would you have used much of these overdrives? If you've got stuff on your pedal already, on your board already that you've got overdrives, how does that compare to what you're using? Would you use that when you're playing with it? Or yeah, do you think so you're just... for me, I prefer the sound of it when it's coming out of a cab. I think it sounds a bit smoother than just hearing it through the DI. It's still yeah. a great sound, but for the stuff I play, it would want to be a bit smoother. However, cool. when I had it, with in conjunction with my pedal board because i've got a compressor and a couple of other bits it tends to smooth things out anyway so i would happily use that yeah and i would say it would do the job yeah. just oh, as God. well as anything that's on my pedal board so sweet oh no that's that's good to hear no, that's good to hear as well and say because i mean this this unit has got so much built into it um and uh, please forgive me, so I, it's been a few years, so I don't know exactly what we did on the other previous video, but I know we, we covered it in detail. Um, but even you sorting through, sort of through there, I thought I didn't actually recognise that, so <laughs> it's like a new thing to me already. But yeah, you've got tuner compressor op options in there as well, so if you, if you don't have a full board like, like CeCe's got here with, with other sort of um, overdrives and compressors or tuners, they do build that into this thing, so mm -hmm. it's quite handy just as a you know, standalone bit of kit if you um, didn't have those bits as well. But. Yeah. One thing I found as well, weirdly, I like to play with a compressor on pretty much all the time, but when Sweet. I was using this pedal, having spent a bit of time with it, I actually prefer the sound of it without the compressor for some reason. Cool. I just think it it complements it a bit better, but yeah, it's yeah. probably a personal preference thing oh, more than No, anything, and but... th this is exactly why we're doing this. I think that that's, yeah. that's a great thing to do, because again, me and Nathan went through it, it was, it was really just, right, okay, here's the new bit of gear, you know, let's just play it, let's play with everything and to see what we can make out of it. I remember us really enjoying it, mm. but it is those sort of things where you think, oh, actually, no, do you know what, like, yeah, that is brilliant to have built in, but for me, don't, yeah. don't need it, don't need it, you know. And yeah, uh, it's, it's nice be. to be able to give, like, an honest review on it after spending time with it, because in the moment, everything you say is honest, but you can't kind of form a more well-rounded opinion Exactly. Because that, you that broader used it, so it yeah, doesn't go any yeah. deeper than like sounds really good out the box, and that's it. So totally that broader context, right? Of, of say just taking it out, like say in, in conjunction with the rest of your gear, as you're saying, or just having it in a live setting, taking it out and gigging with it. You know, all those sort of things. Hopefully, we can uh, expand on this going forward. You know, if you mm -hmm. if this is something that you guys would like to see. So uh, yeah, yeah, so nice. Just out of curiosity, what's the I've turned the compressor on because I want oh, to know yeah. what it sounds oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. through the DI. Oh yeah, we've still got drive on. No, no. Versus off. Yeah, I just, I find it, obviously it's doing its job and it's a cool sound, but I just prefer the freedom that the other, <laughs> it has when it's off. Got ya, but yeah. And I actually, mean, I quite like that little visual thing here. Like that was yeah. showing you how much it was compressing. So that with the note, woo, it gives you the sort of uh, the range that it's it's compressing. But I'm guessing that will be all adjustable if you if you wanted to. But um, yeah. But no, totally. And say I'm I'm a funny one at the moment with compressors as well. I've got an Agbalar that I'm using, but and I loved it. And, and you know, but now I've just changed amps. I think there's a thing going on there where I might have to just reassess yeah. uh, the frequencies. Shall we say? That's a sort of summary of, yeah. Reassess the frequencies. It's <laughs> a good way of saying it. <laughs> but, um, but nice. I mean, also, I just wanted to test on as well. Like, this could be used if you had such a moment that your amp went down at a gig. Um, you could run this as your, your amplifier. You know, it's not going to sound 
the best, uh, it's going to sound fine. It's going to sound great. But it's not going to sound as good as having a full on amp. I'm just saying this is a backup because um, you'll be running through something like a power speaker like, like these out of the front of house system. So the tonal quality is going to be slightly different as well. But I think that's a great little little note as a backup pedal. You can use it for everything we're showing you here today. But also it could save your bottom. <laughs> on, a, uh, on, on a on a gig. <laughs> so, it's always good to have. <laughs> this is it, and I've, I've seen it in the previous video, but I've, I've got a similar thing, which is the Sans amp, just again as a backup, really, um, that DI's de out if we if we need to, if everything fails bass-wise. So, uh, so yeah, actually, should we show, I mean, you're not going to hear much difference, but let's just show everyone that it actually works, yeah. as it were. Let's go through I, the I, other. Plus, uh, from a personal opinion point of view, I'm kind of curious to hear it through that yeah oh no no totally <laughs> totally give us two secs we'll be with you sweet thank you we're back we're back sorry no, no, this is going to be a very very quick thing but just to show you how this works so we've got this lovely little <laughs> qsc powered monitor up here so this, just representing half of a bit of a pa at the front of your front of your setup your band setup um if you were so unlucky that something like this went down and you do have a bit of kit like this with the di out um, that's exactly how we're running it into into that uh, powered monitor, um, and you've got the mix coming through to you guys just from there. So, say so it's not ideal; it's not going to be the most like banging bass sound, but <laughs> it's going to save you, right? So it, yeah, it's yeah. it's just worth worth mentioning. So, uh, yeah. so um, yeah, I don't know how it's how different it's going to sound, but it's really quite interesting. <laughs> I mean, ah. it feels like it's got a lot more breathing space. Does it, so, does it actually feel yeah. different under finger? Right, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So for me, using it th through an amp, <laughs> like as in something through that, that feels like it's got the most breathing space, but it also reacts. Obviously, you've got your amp sound as well that's affecting it to an extent. And guitar yeah. speakers. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then using the DI, that's probably my least favourite way to use it. I still like it, but it just feels a bit more uh, clinical is the wrong word, but no, no. that's kind of just, I don't know, it's yeah. just a bit less... It hasn't got as much big. mojo. Yeah, you know, yeah. Really you get it's a little bit, say, with a, like, a nice pairing between an amp yeah. and a guitar. Like something It's oh my God, that just works. That works, yeah, exactly. you know, so and a then, little bit less of that. But. Then using it through something like this feels like a mix between the two. So you've got the breathing space of the amp and you've got that kind of slightly more clinical sound, not in a bad way, but it's just not got the same kind of personality that an amp would have, if that makes any sense. Totally. So, no, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely. All, okay. in, all in all, though, I'd happily use it in yeah, in, any in of these ways, yeah. No, sweet. No, and I think this is uh, no really valuable because say we can make, like you said, very quick um, opinions. Always be honest. Say so you'll see what, what is coming out of mouth it is generally our first reaction with all these things. But um, no, I think it does help spending a bit more time with this stuff. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Um, any requests of any particular gear that you want us to spend some time with, um, give us a shout. Let us know, um, and yeah, we'll try a little bit of this. So mm -hmm. time soon, we should go and pick something else to borrow now <laughs> yeah. for next time. So uh, no, thank you very much for joining us for All About The Bass, and we'll see you soon. Ta-da!